Hello and welcome back to LV Debate Fridays. I'm Patrick Contraptions and I post these videos every Friday during the tournament season to help you become a better Lincoln Douglas debater. Today's video we're focusing on the difference between an affirmative case and a negative debate case. Sometimes it can seem a little confusing when you're writing. So let's pare it down right from the start. We need to look at the time for both cases. You've got six minutes to do your affirmative case and present your arguments. That's pretty straightforward. On the negative side, it looks like you have seven minutes. You do not have seven minutes for your negative case. So when you're writing it, remember that. You want to use some time during that seven minutes. I prefer about four minutes to refute your opponent's case. Then you use the remaining three minutes for your case. So you actually have only three minutes for your negative case while you have six minutes for your affirmative case. So three minutes for your negative, three minutes for your negative case, and six minutes for your affirmative case. Bingo. Remember that. Also, there's a big difference in what you have in your case. You have three contentions normally in your affirmative case because you have more time to lengthen those contentions out and build a strong wall for the negative to attack. Now, your negative case is more of a fallback. It's like a rampart. You're attacking the affirmative case, and this is just something you fall back to once in a while in between attacks. So it doesn't necessarily have to be as in-depth. It's just there for you as a backup plan, kind of, to your attack. So you only need two contentions. They still need to be well written out and have good examples and everything, but it helps you fit into the time slot. The other part is, in a negative case, and this is one thing that is often forgotten, you want to have a negative case that is tailored to attack a specific type of affirmative case. For example, in my previous videos, I used a case with global peace as a value and globalism as the resolution. So if I were attacking that type of case, it's probably going to be out there during that year. I'd want to have one negative case just focused on destroying the arguments of international trade as its groundwork. Then maybe I've got another case for in my negative side that is focused on destroying all the military relations between countries. Then I've got another case that's related to the United Nations and completely abolishing and destroying the United Nations if it's run for globalism. So you make more negative cases than you do affirmative cases. You will have probably one, maybe if you're lucky, two affirmative cases. I went to nationals with, I think I had one affirmative case I ran every time, one backup in case I lost it, and just one early revision in case I wanted to tweak something. Then on negative, I actually had five to six cases. I had that many cases because I had time to write them over the year, and I start off right off the start. I never throw out a case, never throw out a debate case. It always has an idea in it that you can maybe steal for a case later on in the year. I've done this on multiple occasions where I have an idea at the beginning of the year, and I rethink of it at the end of the year, and I'm like, wait a minute, I could put that criteria from this case I wrote way back when under this one, it'll work much better, and I've got what's known as a hot rod case. I'll probably go over that in my next video. So you want to tailor your negatives to attack specific types of affirmative cases using specific types of examples. That way you're on the offensive. On the affirmative, you want to build a giant rampart, a wall of impenetrable strength that cannot be broken. So that's the difference between an affirmative and a negative case. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below with your questions or videos you may want me to film. And definitely subscribe. I'll be posting more of these videos every Friday here on Patriot Contraptions. Thank you for watching.